What's up everybody? My name is Eric. Welcome to Eric the Tutor. Today we're going to be talking about enolate chemistry. Specifically, we're going to talk about base catalyzed mechanisms for the aldol addition and aldol condensation. So let's go ahead and start with an example. So we have a group like this with some methyls and we are reacting with a ketone NaOH, water, and heat. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The OH is going to grab an alpha hydrogen. Kick on the bond here, push this up there. Now notice, on this side of our, right over here, we have an alpha carbon, but we don't have any available alpha hydrogens. So that's why the OH attacked on this side. So then the next thing we're going to get looks like this. O minus with the double bond there. This can resonate to give us a structure that looks like this. So we can choose to use either of our two resonance structures here. I personally like to use the top structure, but again, it's not going to matter. So let's go ahead and draw what our product is going to look like. So we have this with our O minus group. So this is going to come down. The double bond is going to go ahead and attack the carbon from the carbonyl. That's going to give us And our new carbon bond attached to the O minus the carbon there and another methyl here. Now this O minus is going to grab some of that water that was in solution here, reforms our OH from the base catalyzed mechanism. This is going to give us one more intermediate here. The OH is going to go ahead and grab another acidic hydrogen from some water floating around. We now have a good leaving group. So another OH molecule can grab an acidic alpha hydrogen. Form a double bond here. Kick out our water group. And we're left with that's gonna be our final product. Thanks for tuning in, guys.